Hello, hello, hello to all of the Capricorns out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. All right, this is your extended bonus reading for uh, July. <laughs> we are going to see what's going on with your person in this reading. All right. Okay, we are going to see what's going on with your person. Let's see and find out if this person wants a commitment. Last we left off with, in your last reading, you wanted a commitment with this person. Let's see if this energy is reciprocated. Okay. So, you have X, love, and I like you. So I feel like your person wants you to stop a pattern. There's something about this union that this person wants you to stop. I do feel like they have strong feelings for you. They like you a lot. And they do want things to move towards a higher level of commitment. But overall, this person wants you to stop a certain behavior. It could be something that you're saying, something that you're doing. It could be you not communicating effectively with them. Whatever it is, this person wants you to stop doing it. All right? They want you to make some type of change. Let me know in the comment section below if you know what this is. The, your person feels like you are worth waiting for. I do feel like this person wants to marry you as well. We have engagement at the bottom of the deck. So this person is looking for the same thing you are looking for. All right? They feel like you are a past life relationship for them. Okay. You ha and it says you have known each other before. So your person feels like they've known you before. They've known you all of their life. All right. And I do feel like, again, you are ready to commit to this person. And this person is ready to commit to you as well. All right. Let's see what else is here. What else is here for careful form? And this person. What else is here? Okay. <laughs> for Capricorn and the person they came here for. What else is here? Okay. I'm taking these cards like that. So there was some type of heartbreak in the past. But I feel like you and this person were able to overcome that heartbreak. Could be dealing with an Aquarius here. We have Cancer Pisces energy, Aquarius energy. Okay. I do have three threes here. So someone here, your person may have wanted you to walk away or you or waited for this person may have um Someone here could have need, may have needed to, I don't know why I can't talk, may have needed to walk away from something else. Because I'm starting off with the three of swords. This looked like the three, like a third party situation was going on. So someone here, in order for you and this person to move to a higher level of commitment, okay, you may need to be the one to walk away from a relationship, Capricorn. That could be what your person wants you to stop or change, okay? Because in the past, I feel like there was a decision between two. From what I'm seeing. Could have something to do with a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And I feel like your person, you didn't know that you were going to like your person as much as you do. And your person is telling you, like, in order for us to be together, you have to release this person. Okay, and the energies could be vice versa, but because this is an extended reading from where we left off your reading, this is your person's energy that I'm reading. This person is hoping that you two can move things forward. I feel like they are very vulnerable with you. They were open. You are a wish fulfillment to this person. Okay, you inspire them to be better. Again, nine of water in the near future, a wish fulfillment. However, this person is waiting for you to remove yourself patiently waiting to remove yourself from another situation 
okay? This could be people in your business, but I see this going to a higher level of commitment. Your person fears that you're going to keep them in the dark about this third party. Like, you're not going to let them know exactly what's going on or when you um, release yourself from this union. But they're patiently waiting. You have the four of fire and the ten of earth here. This person is waiting, ready for marriage. They're hoping that you two can marry each other. You can build together. You can have um, a solid foundation, some type of prosperity, a family possibly together. They want it all with you. And I feel like you want it, want it all with them as well because your title was, um, let me see, because I wrote it down. Your title, you wanted to, you was ready for a commitment with this person. Yeah, you want to commit to this person. So, again, I feel like this person is waiting for you to release yourself. Here it is. The cards don't lie. This person is waiting for you to release yourself from another energy. But in the meantime, between, and they want you to do it like now. In the meantime, between time, they are willing to wait for you. Okay, to release yourself, to go through this transformation because they don't want to make the mistake of rushing and walking away from this before it gets before it gets to the good part. Okay, so they're willing to wait, and they're and they are aware that this is a life changing um, situation for you. Some of you may have children with this person that you need to walk away from, but because this person wants this 10 of cups, 10 of water with you, they are willing to wait. They're taking action and they're going to, um, they're determined that, you know, you and them will build this family together. Okay. They want victory at all costs. This person wants to win at all costs. They recognize that, um, a relationship with you will be successful. I feel like some of you have built this person esteem back up. You made them feel good about themselves, made them feel like there's there isn't anything in this world that they cannot do. And I know this reading sounds fairy tale, but that's what it is. That's what I'm getting. Okay. So Capricorns, this person, um, some of you have a birthday on the 17th, the 8th, the 16th, the 17th, or the 18th of January. All right. Let me know in the comment section below. But that's what I'm getting. This person is ready for the marriage. They're ready for the same thing you are. So if you have loose ends that need to be tied up, tie the title, tie those loose ends up because this person is waiting. All right. I'm gonna leave it at that. Comment in the comment section below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Be safe. I am sending love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Peace.